Oh no, Seb has caught the craziness, you guys. Seb has caught the craziness. Go, go, go to the deep end. I just wanna go, go, Hey, go my little Peach and Roonies, and welcome back to a new video. I am so excited today because we are in Strangerville, the new pack for Sims 4. I want to say thank you to EA because they gave me this pack early, which means I can get this video recorded and ready for you as soon as it comes out. So big thank you to them. You're probably wondering, Claire, why is the lighting different in your room? I figured this pack tends to be a little bit spooky, a little bit creepster. So I'm like, you know what? Let's bring Spooksville to the room. I'm going to switch all the lights off so it looks a little bit scary and just have the lights behind. If you're scared though, don't worry because Beanie is here to protect you. So guys, let me introduce you briefly to Strangerville. The only thing stranger than the people here is the flora. It's a quiet town with a strange problem. The residence is very friendly, but at night things start to get a little bit more interesting. If you want to find out more about this town, you can find the military personnel hanging out at the local bar, scientists re researching at the library, and the curio shop stand is sure to have a few strange odd ends by the trailer park. So this is Strangerville. There's two main areas. There's a Strangerville Plaza where the local like to hang out. There is also the Shady Acres up on top of this kind of canyony sort of place here. It sort of looks like to me like it's meant to be a bit Grand canyon -y. I don't know. The place in, in America that looks like this. I don't know. Is it Colorado? Is it California? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. It's home to a few of the wealthy locals, but curious how some of them seem to come into their wealth. We've also got this science lab over here. The name of it has been redacted, so I don't know. Can we visit it? I don't know. I want to find out a little bit more about it though and i'm going to show you guys some of the locals we've got the electric hearts house electric arts household which obviously meant to be ea we've got the roswells who i think are really really rich like i feel like they've got oh no they've only got twenty thousand pounds i don't know but they're the oldest residents in strangerville he the guy is the mayor and he's i mean aggressively pushing to get strangerville more technologically advanced and he has made some shady deals he's the one that set up the secret lab and his wife has been noticing him acting very strange at night it might be something to do with these frequent visits to the secret lab to try and cover things up. Uh, I don't know what it says about these guys. I feel like they're just meant to be like they work for EA. Yeah. And then we've got the guys in Strangerville Plaza. So we've got Cahill who actually seems to live on a crashed plane here. George Cahill was a retired pilot and he used to take his beloved plane around the world but he was flying over Strangerville and there was a light that caused his plane to short circuit and crash. So he set up camp in the plane. And he is skeptical of residents. And then we've got Sigworth here, who the mom has to transfer to the Strangerville National Base. She looks like she's in the army. I, by the way, I've added CC to everybody because I can't have them looking basic, could I? So she has started to go a little bit strange after being on the base for a while. And the husband has noticed. The daughter might notice soon. And then there is also another family that I have added to the town. So this, these won't be here if you buy Stranger Town. I've created these myself, but... You guys probably recognize Micah. I've also added a little bit of backstory to them. So hiding in Strangerville, Micah and a toddler in his care keep a low profile and try not to give too much about their personal lives away. Rumor around town is that Micah is a man on the run. While the locals debate what his crimes may be and why he has such a young child with him, stranger things going on around town means, means their secret remains safe for now. So these are just a little extra story I have added to my Stranger Town that we will also be investigating and will be a big part of my Stranger Town story, uh, Strangerville story as well, which makes mine a little bit different and I'm really, really excited for it. So if you guys are wondering why I'm already on Stranger Town, uh, Strangerville, I need to stop calling it Stranger Town. Why do I keep doing that? And if you're wondering why what are here already, basically because the pack was releasing today, I was like, I'm going to have to shift some of my storylines forward a little bit. And the people that I would like to move in to Strangerville are our three main dudes which is but our three main teenagers which are gonna have to become young adults a little bit sooner than I originally intended although in my game you can move out as a teenager so I might just say that they moved out as teens and that is Sammy B, Cody and Seb. So if you're new to this channel or you're new to the series and you haven't watched any of my other videos, don't worry. I'm basically going to have three characters from this that are from my previous series. You don't need to worry too much about their background, but just know that they're three teen boys. Two of them, Sammy B and Seb, are going to be pretty close cousins. And then we've also got Cody, who they're not so close to because he's a little bit of a mean and he was a mean kid. So Sammy B comes from a family plagued by misfortune. He has already lost his father and he recently lost his uncle. 
people. But he did grow up very close to a loving mother. And he also recently came out to his mother as being gay. And Seb is from a little bit of a celebrity family. His grandfather was a famous footballer. His grandmother was a famous chef. And his mother and father aren't doing too badly either. He's popular, he's good looking, but he's unlucky in love. And then we've got Cody who was a pretty much a mean teenager. He's going through a real phase at the moment. He's sort of angry at the world. Angry that some of his cousins aren't so close to him because he was such a mean child. But he's slowly starting to come into himself a little bit more. And I'm hoping that we're going to see a little bit of retribution for him. So we're going to head to the Villa Reals now and get this kick started. I'm so excited. If you guys are as well, please give this video a big cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and that notification bell so you don't miss any of our strange villa stories. So things are pretty sad in the Villarreal household. Lilith especially, I feel like she will have been hit the hardest of anyone. She also lost Jamie as well and things are just really rough for her. We're also now both in this Villarreal household that they moved into because of Marx, but I don't know. I don't know how much pull they'll still feel towards living in this house. I just don't feel like there's much keeping them here anymore. I originally was going to do this as Sammy be running away in the same way that Abel ran away when he was a teenager. But I don't think Sammy would ever do that to Lily Bear. So I think he's just going to say, Mum, I kind of, I need to get away from it all. Do you understand? And Lilith, bless her. She's incredibly strong. I feel like she would be like, she'd understand his need to get away because she's done this at parts in her life as well. And she's like, you know what? I totally feel you. And I actually think I'm going to go and stay with Faith for a while because I don't want to be in this house either. And she's really, really close to Faith. So that kind of allows Sammy B to get things moving and look into somewhere that he can find to live. So whilst researching online, he hears about this new place called Stranger Town and that uh, there's cheap property there right now because people are not wanting to move in because of weird things going on. I just called it Strange Town again, didn't I? Because of weird things going on in Strangerville, property is cheap and opportunities are plenty for those who can stick living in such a weird place with such strange locals. So he's like, this feels like the right place to live. Okay, so I've got my new little family. Uh, family? Family! I think that uh, Sammy and Seb always wanted to move out together, but they were like, look, we're not going to be able to Ford rent on our own, just us two. So kind of begrudgingly, they ask Cody. They don't get on very well with Cody. But they're like, we need money for rent and three gives us more than two. So in Strangerville, there is an abandoned cottage. The reason they needed three of them is because it definitely ain't cheap. It's one of the few vacant properties and the estate agent said that the previous owners just disappeared without trace. So it is also fully furnished, which is helpful for the boys. So this is where they're going to move into. Hell. Thank God for that fun, uh, money for from the farms, eh? And we know Strangerville is fine by day, which is when they're gonna move in, but apparently it changes at nighttime. Okay, so here we go. Our first ever little bit of gameplay in Strangerville. It is cool looking. Like, it feels to me very like Grand Canyon-y. There is actually a huge, like, I don't know, what do you call this? Like a, a canyon? But, like, basically where Superman went. <laughs> and it's a cute little neighborhood. There's a few trailers around here. There's a lot of, like, similar-ish kind of cottage there's like uh, some flats here, although they look a little bit abandoned. There is like a little restaurant-y type place here. This looks like an auto repair shop. This is kind of like your little town center. I feel like that's the library. And the science lab is all the way over there. Okay, interested, interested. This is the house that they have moved into. It's very cute. It's very quaint. In the main part of the house... There is a bedroom or bathroom upstairs for somebody. There is another bedroom downstairs. We've got a little living room. You know what? It's actually real nice. It's pretty basic, but it's nice. There's a little bit of gardening out here too. And also there is another sort of like little garagey area here, like on the side of the house. And there's a bedroom on the top floor of that too. But also below, there is this peculiar little garage with a little woodworking table, some weird boxes a nuclear waste barrel and then this is probably one of the weirdest things of all there is like a listening station with a lot of weird I don't know if I'm saying this word right. Paraphernalia? Paraphernalia? Par I don't know. But weird stuff going on around it and also this crazy containment thing too plus a boxing thing all very peculiar, but the boys are gonna have to investigate what's going on. I'm just gonna make sure everybody has their vacation day for school so we can do some explorations. Uh, now that everybody has their day off, 
kind of need to figure out where everyone's gonna live. I honestly feel like Kasami and Co uh, Seb are the closest. They're gonna probably want to live in the main house together and ask Cody if he wants to live in the garage. I know it sounds like they're being super mean, but you can just imagine if you were like a lot closer with one person, then you would probably prefer to live with them. And since this was all Sammy's idea, I'm gonna let him claim this bed. He's still feeling super down about life, so I'm gonna let him go cry things out. And then little Seb is gonna go ahead and claim this bed and we will get Cody to go and claim this one. Oh wow, this bed has got like the painting thing on it. That's so weird. Okay, it's very artsy. Okay, so while Sammy B goes and cries Thanks. things out out there, I'm gonna get these two to go ahead and just sort of investigate things in here. So the boys are sort of investigating all the weird stuff going on here. And there is also this listening device. And it says you have to purchase bugs. This is all new to me as well now, by the way. So. I think we go ahead and get some of these spy bugs that we can plant on other sims. Okay, this is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just straight up buy 10 of them. And then I don't know why there is a listening kit. This is probably all very confusing for the boys. But I sort of feel like Cody especially, having less focus in life than the other two, he will be pretty excited to give this a go. Seb is a little bit of an athletic freak. He loves a good workout. His father was the same as him and they often like worked out together. So I feel like he's gonna be most excited about this right here. How cool is this by the way? Look at him go. He's good, check him out. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, the locals are so weird. Look at them. Are they coming to greet us like that? What on earth? That's just so bizarro. Look at their eyes. Oh my gosh, they're so weird. Okay, I'm gonna invite our strange neighbors inside. I think Cody especially is gonna be pretty excited about this. He is gonna try and talk to Ted. Oh man, look at him. Oh, they're so creepy. Oh my gosh, they're so weird. Can I try and plant a bug? Let's plant a bug on him. We know that he's the mayor, so I feel like he's the best person to put a bug on. Are they all trying to get into my house? Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna lock the door. Lock the door for everybody except household members. Cause they're just too weird. I don't want them going inside my house. I do oh, how did they get in? I locked the door. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be freaking Sammy B out so much. Okay, Cody, can he put a bug on him? Is he gonna hug him but actually plant the bug? Oh, well done. Okay, we've got one bug already. This guy put some food in my fridge. Did you see that? I'm gonna get him to try and plant a bug on him too. Okay. Guys, we could have three bugs at this rate. Oh, they're so creepy! Oh, it's giving me the shivers the way they walk. It's like in horror films. Have you noticed they keep putting food in my fridge? They want us to eat the food that's like, our mother dressed as in red. She is a beauty. Okay, we've got two listening bugs planted so far. Can I like try and snap her out of it? Okay, have we got a bug on her as well? Three bugs planted, you guys. Okay, she's, she's trying to slap the craziness out of her, but it has not worked. It has most definitely not worked. Honestly, I don't want these crazy people in my house. I'm gonna go ahead and how can I get them to leave though? They keep putting food in my fridge that's so weird that is so weird he's getting angry at them like it's actually making him pretty mad i don't know how to get them to leave I, honestly i don't know how to get them to go away oh she's fully crazy though she is fully crazy oh beauty 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 let's try and talk to him look at this weird text oh my gosh so crazy I kind of like that we'll we'll just focus on one sim trying to figure out the secret and that's Cody Jack because he doesn't get on with the other two as well. Her nest is clouded in beauty. We do not deserve her. I'm gonna get him to be the only one that focuses at least at first on this. The other two are getting on well together. They're like sort of enjoying hanging out together. Cody's already feeling a little bit left out so that leaves him time to like d investigate the town. He's trying to talk to them. Oh, they're freaking him out though. They're actually making him jump. Water is love, water is life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is so funny. And I want to see what they've put in my fridge. They've put 15 of these bizarre fruits. Let's take a look at them. Can I put one on the counter? Oh my gosh, look, it's like glowing. It is actually glowing. 
Okay, I don't think it's good that he should try and eat the fruit because then he will go bizarro like them. So let's definitely not do that. Okay, they're going, they're going. That's good, that's good. So let's go ahead now that they're going and get Cody to start listening in on... I think we should listen in on Ted because I feel like he is the... Uh... Oh, is this the new music in the game? He's the mayor, so he should know. Oh, he turned it off because he was listening. I see, okay. So we're listening in on the neighbors. Is that like a map of Strangerville? Yeah, yeah, that's Strangerville. Okay, I'm gonna leave him to listen. And I think listening is actually a skill. And it, it ups his logic skill. Okay, so the more logic he gets, the probably the better he's gonna get at this. I'm just gonna leave him with his own little spooky world and try and figure things out. And I'm gonna get Seb and Sammy B to go ahead and investigate the rest of the town. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just tried to travel and it said you are not authorized to do that whilst being investigated. What? We're being investigated. Who's investigating us? What? Oh, is it because the Strangerville people are here to investigate? And look at this. Sure, some people have skeletons in their closet. I've got an entire graveyard in there. He's got this basic <laughs> audio recording. Oh wow, let's get him to listen to some of the other people too. Please don't let any of my boys eat the fruit and go crazy. Oh my lord, he's talking about the audio tapes. Maybe he knows he's been listened in on. I need them to go. Like, go away from my house because I want to travel. Oh, well, I'm just going to keep listening for now. This is so cool and different. I love it. Oh, and oh my god, he ate, but he ate the fruit cake. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh my gosh, who's this person? Is this the person investigating us? Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this, look at this. There's nothing to see here. Everything with it is within normal operating levels. Please abstain from going near the secret lab and have a nice day. And Cody got another audio recording saying, told you my favorite color is blue, but it's not, it's yellow. Okay, can I get Cody to try and plant on her? No, damn, I can't plant on her. She would have been a good person to try and plant one on, wouldn't she? Okay, at least we're not being investigated anymore. That means I can get him to go travel with Sammy into town. And I'll get him to keep listening on the locals. I really think I need to though, try and plan on one of the FBI people. Oh, look, there's like army people here. Okay. And a scientist. Okay, and Hunter. Interesting. I feel like these are definitely good people to try and listen in on. Come on, you agree, right? Her neck, your haircut is awful. Just don't tell her I said that. Okay, they're not really telling us anything super interesting yet. So we need to try and find people that might give us a little bit more info. Like a scientist. Maybe we should talk about Strangerville with him. He has got some weird CC on. I didn't put that on, don't worry. Let's see if he can tell us anything about the town. The implications of what we discovered that he created are astounding. I mean, uh, the secret lab is totally boring and not worth even thinking about interesting yeah. let's Everybody. try and plant a bug on him i think he might be a little bit tougher because he's not crazy but we'll try okay we're going for the hug and the bug have we managed to do it oh this is good he's doing so well he's managed to plant a bug on a scientist that is pretty perfect okay now oh look, there's some army vans over here oh and another scientist okay let's try and introduce ourselves to this scientist too oh man cody's doing so much already all the scientists have my new cc nose which they definitely shouldn't have <laughs> let's talk to her about strangerville as well okay i work at the secret lab in the crater until recently now my attention is on the town itself okay let's see why she's so stress and like try and like try and make her feel happy happy oh, and see if we can try and plant a bug on her too oh look it's one of uh she's from another one of our series charlie rose's friends no world's friends okay we're gonna go ahead and try and plant a bug on her as well i feel like he's doing a really good job i feel like he's doing a really really good job so far okay we're going for the plant of a bug oh my gosh we've done it and another scientist oh a flirty scientist let's ask him about strangerville as well what does he know about strange i keep going to stranger town strangerville oh no Oh, the boys just started traveling. Oh, well, let's get the boys to head to the local bar without Cody. A little bit of tension in the house already. Okay, so the boys are at the local bar. I'm loving the fact that Cody's focused on... Oh, why are you so embarrassed? Oh, because you're not being funny enough. Cody's focusing on um, the Stranger Town, Strangerville craziness. I'm going to have Sammy B focusing on his, like, sexuality and his feelings that he's kind of only just starting to discover. And I'm going to get Cody... Uh, sorry, Seb to be focusing on his love life, which is also bombing hard. Oh, look! 
that guy's here and he's now totally normal. He was acting so crazy before. I don't understand. Why is he suddenly acting normal again? This is just totally bizarre. But these guys never saw the craziness. Only Cody knows about the craziness so far. So, And at the bar, everyone's looking normal. So Cody's going to come across as the crazy one because he's going to be like, oh, the are all here are so weird. And these guys are going to be like, what are you talking about? Everyone's so normal here. Cody, you're the one that's crazy. All you do is sit in the garage on that listening device. Like, what is wrong with you? They're enjoying their town experience so far. Having a little beer for themselves. Enjoying life. And look, nobody in this bar is weird. Nobody here is weird. Everybody is super normal. Although weird stuff going on on the TV, I'm noticing. Definite weird stuff going on there. So Seb has a few girls that he's been chatting with recently. He's not had much luck with any of them, but... He's been chatting a little bit with Lexi, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop her a text. He also has been chatting with Maya and also Cora <laughs> and also Lola. So there's a lot of girls that have caught his eye, but it's not really going very far with any of them. And I've just noticed that this guy, by the way, I thought that guy was talking to himself, but he's now talking to somebody else. This town is definitely a little bit weird. Look at this, loads of like army people here as well. Oh man, in fact, I'm kind of getting the vibe that this bar is is where the army people come to hang out. Oh, look at this. I came out the bar and looked downtown and Cody is actually just down here, so I can still control him. I'm gonna go ahead and get him to talk to some of these military personnel. I do just feel like this is the right way to go. Let's talk to her about Strangerville. Elizabeth Ventura. You may have heard the rumors about an explosion at the secret lab in a crater. Totally false. There's nothing interesting going there. Move along. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. I'm Somehow we're already starting an argument with this woman. I'm still gonna try and plant a bug on her. Okay, I think it could be quite hard to do on a military personnel. Oh, he's done it though. Oh my gosh, he's so good. He's so good at this. I'm gonna actually get Cody to come and join the boys in the bar. There is a lot of people here who we could potentially try and plant a bug on. Another crazy person. He's the guy that lives on the plane. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we should definitely try and plant a bug on him. We've still got three more. No, we've got four more bugs we could plant. Look, this army guy says there's nothing interesting going on at the secret lab in the crater. Especially not in the basement. Don't bother going there. And this one said those crackpot conspiracy theorists think there's a cover up at the secret lab crater. But they don't have a clue. We should try and find some of the other conspiracy theorists. Oh, look, we can't speak to the pilot. He's way too crazy. We also apparently can't plant a bug on him. Look at to the sky, it welcomes. Oh, no, we can, we can, we can. Look to the sky, it welcomes us all. I mean, there's definitely nothing strange in the sky that I can see. But this guy is definitely fully crazy. Oh my gosh, the eyes being open that much and twitching is just so creepy. It's just so creepy. Do not warn, do not like. Let's definitely get a bug on him though. There we go. Good little bug plant him. Okay, this bar's starting to get pretty strange, so I'm gonna get the boys to go home. But Cody has a lot to do when he gets at home because he's got a lot of people to listen in on now, hasn't he? And look, they can just run home from the bar. It's like the ideal place to live. So let's get him to listen in on all of those new people. Sammy B is getting a little bit of sleep. Oh, look at this. We've got a top secret radio, radio, audio recording. I am never stepping foot in that lab again. I might as well burn my key card. <gasps> Interesting. So Seb is home. He's just clearing up the kitchen because those guys that came earlier kind of made a massive mess. His hunger is pretty low and Cody never told him what this strange, bizarre fruit is. So Seb just goes ahead and eats the fruit. Hopefully nothing strange. He looks okay so far. He looks fine after eating it. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Seb! Oh no! Seb has caught the craziness, you guys! Seb has caught the craziness! Look! Possessed! The mother calls and I must respond. Oh my gosh, where is he gonna wander to? Oh no! Poor little Seb is possessed, you guys! Look! The, it, it fully puts all of his, like, things up to max. <gasps> but it's oh gosh he's running oh my gosh look at his head oh that's so creepy <laughs> oh that's so creepy no oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh look at that <gasps> oh Seb what is happening where are you wandering 
wandering to? Where is he going? Oh, and what are these guys? Conspiracy theorists! They meet here. And Seb just found them. Oh, I should definitely get um Cody to head over and talk to these conspiracy theorists. But Seb as well, it classes him as being asleep. So he's not conscious while all of this is happening. He is absolutely not conscious at all. This is so creepy. This is so creepy. Look how scary he looks. Look how scary he looks. Oh, <laughs> what are they all doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're just gathering, being crazy and weird. Okay, Cody's gone behind these to go and speak to the conspiracy <laughs> yeah. theorist. The local library is known to have scientists researching Strangerville archives. Oh, I wonder if they are what we are looking for. I think I'm going to try and plant a bug on him as well, though, you know? Because I just feel like he probably is going to be talking about stuff we need. And let's keep trying to listen in on people. Let's listen in on some more army people. Seb is just running riot, by the way. All around the neighborhood, he is just running riot. Oh my gosh, I really hope Cody could try and figure out what went wrong before it's too late for Seb. <gasps> this is so fun and exciting. I actually love this park so much. I'm gonna leave it there for now. So Cody is trying to investigate everything that went on. And it looks like he's gonna have to act fast because Seb is possessed. Seb is fully possessed. Sammy B is completely none the wiser of everything that's going on so far. The only thing he's heard that's interesting is a rumor at the bar that there's a criminal hiding in a trailer in town. So he's kind of intrigued by that rumor, but he doesn't know anything else about it for now. And everybody has their own crazy, strange things going on in Strangerville. And Cody has also just found out that the order came from the very top and no one is allowed back inside the lab. Oh, he's coming in doing crazies here. Oh no, look, he's gone back to normal. He's gone back to normal. Okay, I hope you guys liked that first episode of Strangerville. In the next episode, I'm gonna get Cody to start investigating these strange plants around the town as well. Try and compile pile some more evidence, speak a little bit more to conspiracy theorists, and visit the library as well. Seb is gonna have to try and navigate a crazy love life. Also now with a craziness coming from within. And Sammy B is gonna go ahead and try and investigate this rumor about a criminal living in town. Three super exciting new story arcs and I'm so, so excited to investigate them all further in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you for episode two tomorrow. Bye. I just wanna know, am I insane?